finally back on today to do another video. Um, in this video, I will be changing about maybe three of my dolls. It all depends on how much space I have on my camera. Hopefully, it doesn't cut off. I'll just keep going, see how many of them I can get changed today. Because with my vinyl reborns especially, I don't change them as often. I don't feel like I give them as much video time. So I really wanted to come on and change some of them. So welcome to my channel. Welcome to my nursery. If you are new, welcome back to those of you who are already subscribed and supporting my channel. And if you're new, please subscribe now. Please click the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I put up new videos. So up first, you are looking at my little boy, my little Pascal. He is the Pascal kit by Joanna Kazmerzak. And I painted this little baby boy and rooted his hair for myself. And he's been in my nursery for a few months now. I can't remember what month I actually introduced him. But it was in 2023. I want to say like in the summer or fall or early fall of 2023. So he's been in my nursery for a few months and I still like love this little boy. Like when I look at him, he just makes me smile. He is definitely one of my favorites in my Reborn collection. I just adore this sculpt. I love everything about it. I love the size of him and everything. So you might hear my little grandbaby fussing in the background my daughters are watching her while I'm doing my video and she tends to give them a hard time when they watch her <laughs> I don't know why now when I watch her she don't fuss as much I guess she knows the difference between grandma and aunties but yes if you hear her excuse the crying but that is little Alora, and she is fussy and she's also teething. She like her first tooth is cutting through the gums. Like you can feel it. You can't quite see it yet, but you can feel it when she bites on your finger. So she's also a little fussy from that. But anyway, please click the like button. Give this video a thumbs up. And this little guy, I named him Malik. So he is Malik Pascal, and I was feeding him with this latch bottle. I like these because when they have the wide neck, you can push the nipple down, and it's perfect for feeding vinyl reborns or any babies that don't have an open mouth, if you can see how it fits right up to their face, because it's wide and it's soft. If you unscrew it, see how the nipple pops up? You just push it down and then tighten it back. And it'll hold it just like that for you. So that's the bottle he was drinking from. So we're going to dress little Malik first. I don't know if I changed him during Christmas on camera. I can't remember. I don't think I did. So yeah, that's why he's one of the first getting changed now. Because... He has not had like a changing video in a while on camera. So I just put him in this Huggies diaper though. So I'm not going to take this off of him. I love how the newborn diapers look on him. They fit him so good. I love me a newborn size baby. I do. Because I feel like when I buy silicone dolls, they can some of them fit the newborn size clothes, but they're not as tiny in size like this baby. Like he is definitely like a perfectly sized newborn baby, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, we're gonna change him first. But I'm gonna go see if I can calm my granddaughter first before I continue which means I'm going to have to edit this video to piece it together. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. Let's see. Let's see how that lasts. She is a little quiet now. All right, so little Malik is going to wear this two outfit. It is up to one month size. It has this little tortoise on it. And it's cream colored with beige, like oatmeal trim. And the little animals are on the sleeves. And I've had this outfit for so long. And the little pants are like that oatmeal speckled material, beige, creamy color. And it has the little tortoise on the feet with these little ears. And so we're going to put this on little Malik. So please, everyone, hit that like button. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That definitely helps out my videos to circulate on YouTube. The more likes it gets, the more the algorithm picks up your videos and suggests them to other viewers to watch. So please hit the like button. Please hit the share button. Please continue to share my videos. Thank you to those of you who shared my videos. I did get a couple of notif notifications this week. For those of you who shared my videos, thank you so much. Um, one channel I do remember off the top of my head. Maybe I need to start writing it down um, and give shout outs when you share my videos. But Millie's Messy Nursery shared my video this week. Thank you so much for sharing my video, Millie's Messy Nursery. And so this little guy fits this outfit. And it, it's like, to me, it looks more like a newborn size, but it says up to one month. And he definitely, like I said, is a nice newborn size baby. He fits newborn size clothes really well. And this little outfit is actually Gabriel's. Like, I've had it for so long. So that is his little change. And he is all done. That's how he looks with his little passy. And he has the little curly hair. And that is little Malik. So now we're going to go to the next baby. I love how floppy he is. I love his little belly plate and all of that. Look at him. Like, he's so sweet. All right, we're going to get the next baby. Like, I don't want to put him down when I pick him up. He's so sweet. All right, who are we going to get next? So, the baby I have in the crib already, maybe I'll just do her. So, I'm kind of mixing it up with Reborn and Silicone. Normally, I don't do that. This might be the first time I've done that. Normally, I'll change all vinyl Reborns or all Silicone in a video. But today, we're going to mix it up and we have silicone baby Nevea. I named her Nevea Grace um, and I painted her last month December I introduced her into my nursery so she's the newest silicone baby I painted and she is a silicone cuddle baby so she has the cuddle head and she is the exodus sculpt by simply silicone by a and that shop is on etsy simply silicone by a and it's erica lee on etsy and she spells the erica with the a and so i got this cuddle head from her and i she's not dressed because i took her out of her christmas outfit and i put her in this little wrap so that's what she was in. So she definitely needed to get changed. So that is why I decided to change her on this video. So she is in a on a cuddle body, as you can see. And it's weighted and everything. Um, and this cuddle body is by Reggie Ann's Cuddle Bodies. Reggie Ann's. Is that what you call it? I don't have her card near me. But you can find Reggie Ann on Instagram. I believe on Etsy as well. And it's Reggie and 
see i don't know what the name of her shop is exactly i don't know if it's dolls i would have to put her information in the description below because i don't want to screw it up but that's where the cuddle body is from so with her being that she's a cuddle baby i'm going to put her in this full footed sleeper or outfit and this is by mayoral or mayoral mayoral however you want to pronounce it and it's a zero to one month size it's like in this rose blush color and it is new no one has worn it yet it was actually a gift from my dear sweet friend claudia o'neill when she sent me that happy mail a few months back so this buttons like the snaps all the way down the back so it's really easy to put on or off a baby it has a crown on it it says little dreamer and it's polka dots and they are like gold polka dots and then the crown has gold stars on it so she's going to get this where she'll be fully covered and then i just have these little pink hand mitts to put on her hands being that she's a cuddle baby and then this little um rose colored headband to go on her head i don't have any hand mitts that color though i noticed in that rosy color or blush color pink i have to look for that color in hand mitts i only have pink regular pink light pink dark pink but they're just pink i have no hand mitts to match like this rose but blush color pink so we're going to see how she fits this. Um, this baby, the cuddle body, is supposed to be a newborn size. And also, the baby's head is newborn size. I put her in a cloth nappy because I feel like it gives her more of a tushy. I was looking on, what was I on? Was it eBay? I be on so many different sites I get mixed up. Or was it McPherson's? It was some site I was on yesterday, and I see that they have the um, silicone little tushies. Like, it's actually the whole tushy. That's the first time I actually seen one. I've heard of, you know, mommy saying that they included the, the, the silicone insert in the baby's diaper. I've seen like just a regular round insert that silicone and you put it in the diaper to give the baby a tushy. But now they actually have like the actual tushy shape, you know, the little tushy <laughs> to put in your silicone babies. Well, I guess you could put it in any of your doll's diapers just to give it that nice squishy soft real feel and to also fill out the baby's diaper. And you can buy those separately to put in your baby's diapers. I was thinking about getting this baby that where it can go in her diaper. So she'll have more of an actual shape of a, a tushy. And it fills out her clothes more. So yeah, she's supposed to be a newborn size. Her little body and her head. And... She is the darkest baby I've done so far, I think. Her skin tone is the darkest that I've gotten a baby in a long time. Um, I know I painted one vinyl reborn that was really dark skin, but I don't think he was even as dark as her. And that was years ago when I first started learning how to paint vinyl reborns. And it was my Dwayne Awake vinyl reborn I had painted. I painted her, him, actually I made it a boy. He was in the dark skin, like chocolate color. But I don't think I got as dark as this. And then she's definitely the darkest I've painted in silicone so far since I've started painting silicone. And I absolutely love how her skin tone came out. I first I thought I had screwed her up because I had not went this dark. And I just kept going darker and darker until I got her looking how I wanted her to look. And she turned out pretty well where it looks realistic, her skin tone. And I absolutely love how this little girl turned out. And right now I'm into when I'm looking for babies, whether it's vinyl or silicone, I'm wanting like the newborn size. 
So that is why I decided to get this baby because I wanted a newborn size cuddle baby as well with the cuddle body and the newborn size. I didn't want a big baby. Um, and I'm looking still for silicone, a blank that I want to get to paint. And again, I'm looking for that newborn size baby. The only baby that I want right now that's bigger is the pickle. I love that baby, that face on that pickle sculpt. And I did order one. I didn't do the pre-orders. I wish I had of, um, but I did order one about almost two months ago and I still haven't gotten it. It's still on back order. Like they have not gotten it in yet. It's saying March. The last time I checked, they're saying March before the rest of them come in. So, anywho, that is little Nevea in her pink blush and her pink hand mitts and her little outfit. And she had, I usually give her the little pacifiers, the preemie size fits in her mouth really well. But I don't think she needs it with this outfit because it's purple. She's wearing pink. And she looks pretty enough just how she is. So, that is little Nevea Grace all dressed so let me just put her back here where she was on her pillow. And I'm going to get another baby. Let's see, who am I going to choose? I actually have four. I have like four babies I wanted to dress. We'll see, because I know the first video was like already at six minutes. This one is at 11 minutes. So we'll see how we do. If I'm going to dress another one after this little guy, another one that I absolutely adore, painted by me as well. So all of the babies I'm showing today right now are painted by me in this video. So this is the Samu kit by Cassie Brace, and I painted him a couple of months ago as well, but in 2023, like the end of the year. Um, it might have been summertime. And so I painted and rooted him recently. He is also new in my nursery. So I wanted to change him because he has not been changed in a while either. So also, as I was saying, share my videos. Um, when I get to 5,000 subscribers, I'm planning on doing a 5,000 subscriber appreciation giveaway where I will be giving away a Vinyl Reborn, all painted by me. I'm not sure if I'm going to root it yet. I'll see how it goes. If I can get started on it soon and just take my time and paint it, and then as I have free time, just slowly root that baby and get it all done before I hit the 5,000, possibly it'll be rooted as well. We'll see how it goes, but... When you share my videos, that helps my channel to grow faster. We'll get to that 5,000 subscribers faster where we can get to do that giveaway. Um, so you definitely have to be a subscriber to enter that giveaway. And at the time when I'm ready to do the giveaway, I will do an announcement video to enter the giveaway. So you can't enter yet until I get closer, get to the 5,000 subscribers. And also I will do a special video for you to enter. So it'll be a whole video put up and all of that when I get to that point. Because I know someone will ask me, how do I enter? <laughs> so I figured, let me say that. Because every time I mention that giveaway, people ask me, how can they enter in the comments? Or they'll be trying to enter under this video and this is not the, the giveaway entry video. I'm just announcing it to remind you guys or if you're new, just reminding you that that giveaway is coming up as we get to that 5,000 subscribers. So please share my videos. That definitely helps out my channel. So I'm going to put him in this little Huggies Mickey Mouse diaper. It's a size one. I tend to put my babies in size one diapers, even if they can fit newborn sometimes, because I like the size one diapers. They kind of help fill out their clothes. 
where they it gives them a little more tushy where they fill out their clothes more or if they have on a belly plate the size one diapers tend to hold those belly plates in place sometimes with the bigger babies they need a size one so this little baby he is still kind of a newborn size baby he's not all that big he can fit some newborn size clothes too he can also fit some zero to three month size if it's not real real big on him like a big zero to three like some of those three months clothes are huge so then he can't fit it if it's too too big but i like his little size I like his size too. He's like a good size where he's not too small and then he's not too big. So for him, I named him, what did I name him? Monty. <laughs> when you have start getting too many babies, you can't like you can't remember those names you gave them. I'm telling you, it gets confusing. But I named him Monty. That's right. Monty Samuel. I'll usually give them my own first name and then I'll, I'm will i back here messing with Nevea. She's in the back of the crib, if you could tell. She's back there. Um, so usually I'll try to give them my own first name and then just keep their scope name or their kit name as their middle name. So that kind of helps me remember the kit name also. Because I'm telling you, the more babies you get, the more names it is, the more confusing it gets. <laughs> so he's getting these little terry cloth blue socks. And this onesie that says big hugs with this blue elephant. And that onesie looks so long, but we'll scrunch it up on him. These blue and gray striped little pants. And this little jacket that goes with it with these blue elephants all over it and it's a heather gray little hoodie jacket and this is by child of mine carters and it's a zero to three months so that's what he's gonna get and none of their outfits match i was just basically going through my clothes and just picking out different outfits for whoever i ended up changing today and like I said, I had one more baby to change, but I might come back and do another video with her. And it's my little miracle. She's been waiting to get changed for a while too. I was supposed to change her for Christmas. I had her on the changing table. I even took pictures of her on the changing table at Christmas time. And I never actually did a video and changed her. So she really needs to get changed. Like she should have been first to get changed this time, but she's not. So I will come back and change her with whoever I change next. I'm going to try to include Little Miracle to get changed since I probably won't include her in this video. I think three babies is good changing in one video. So that's his onesie. I just squinched it up a little bit, so it's not that big on him. And get his little pants. I definitely want to do a Carter's haul. Like, I've been seeing so many cute little clothes by Carter's. But like they say, all of the Carter's, like, where they sell their clothes be different. If you go on the Carter's website or you go in the Carter's store, it's different from if you go to Walmart and they have the Child of Mine Carters, they have different stuff in Walmart. Then if you go to Target, the Carter stuff is different in Target. So it all depends on where you're getting the, the clothes from. You find different stuff in different places by Carter's. So you have to kind of look around when it's specific stuff you're looking for because not every place is going to have the same thing. But I've been seeing so much cute little Carter stuff and in the colors that I want to. So I'm definitely, I haven't done a haul for my babies in a while. I've been being really disciplined because <laughs> I have not been buying a lot of clothes for them like I used to. I definitely cut down a lot. 
I really did. So I'm kind of itching though now to um do some hauls. I've been looking one everywhere. Carter's H&M, like just looking around kind of what we used to call window shopping, but now it's online. I don't know if his little blue socks match, but we gonna leave them for now. They kind of big on his little feet too. They're not exactly fitting. But when you have newborn babies, real babies, when they little, they socks don't actually fit. A lot of times they little socks be too big for their feet until their feet start growing. Like my granddaughter's feet is still little. Even though she's so chubby, she's like 20 pounds now. Her feet are chubby, but they still so short. Like she can still fit zero to three month socks and shoes. Certain shoes, she can still fit zero to three months. Even though she's now nine months old and 20 pounds. So she must gonna have little feet. <laughs> I think she's gonna have little wide feet. So, anywho, this video is just a little changing of my babies to get some of them changed. It's not a topic video. It is just a nice little calm Saturday baby changing video. Because I definitely needed to change some of them. And I need to come back again whenever I do the next video. And change a few more of them that are waiting for my attention. Waiting for new outfits. So this is him in this three months. Little Carter's. It does fit him. He has room in it, but it fits. And let's just brush his hair down a little bit. I'm going to just use some water. Look how this, the mohair does your hair brushes. I hate when they get like that from the dye in the mohair. And even if you wash them, it doesn't come out. Because I've tried washing this brush, soaking it. it. It just, that dye, once it get on the brush, it's not coming out. It's not. So like my expensive brushes... Like my goat hair brushes, I'll be trying not to use it on the doll's hair. The ones that I know the, the dye bleeds, I do not want to mess up my other brushes on the hair that bleeds. Like these brushes, I don't use them on the baby's hairs that, um, that when their hair bleeds a lot or is black hair, I don't use this brush. Because I do not want those turning black, the, brush, the bristles. And then I have a bigger one. I've had this one longer, but you see, I don't use it on the darker baby's hair where it's going to bleed onto the brush just to prevent this from happening to them. But anyway, guys, that is all that I'm going to do in this video. I think I will come back and change more babies in another separate video. And that is all for now. So thank you for watching. And as I said, please share my videos. There's Nevaeh back there. I think I have her head then on backwards. So after the video, I have to go and fix it. Because it should be laying down more like that. But yeah, that's Nevaeh. And that's little Monty. And I don't have little Mr first little baby Malik that I changed over here but I will put their pictures up on my Instagram my Instagram is always under my videos in the description you just click the link and it'll take you right over to my Instagram thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video take care